You might think that to learn from ChatGPT, all you need to do is ask it like, Hey ChatGPT, can you teach me everything about Python? No, that's not the right way. Because what do you want to learn Python for? Is it for data analysis, for machine learning? Or how much do you already know about Python and how would you like it to be taught? And so many variables could be considered when asking ChatGPT for learning. So in this video, we want to see how we can ask ChatGPT correctly to teach us something like a master. Stay tuned. So in this video, I'll explain how you can use ChatGPT to learn any coding language. I'll be specifically focusing on Python, but you can use this method for whatever else you wanna learn. I prepared some specific prompts to ask ChatGPT to teach me Python, and we're gonna go through them together. So first, let ChatGPT know what you want. Well, recently OpenAI released a new version of GPT, which is GPT-4.0, and it comes with some exciting new feature that powered by version four, but you don't necessarily need it. GPT-3 can still do the job for you. In this video, I'm gonna stick to uh, version three because that's the version most people use. And the same step that I'm gonna tell you apply if you're a paid version. So first, I'm gonna use ChatGPT to create a learning roadmap. So that's the first thing. You need a learning roadmap for yourself if you want to learn Python. Now I'm gonna ask ChatGPT, this is a version three. Uh, yes, I want to learn Python for data analysis. Can you give me a, a road? Yes, roadmap. Okay, let's see what it's giving to me. So actually it's giving me uh, eight step generic roadmap, which by the looks of it, isn't really specific enough. So by asking more targeted question, I can refine the roadmap to be more detailed and useful. All right, so let's make this prompt right. So you have to inform GPT of the pace you want to have. Like how many months do you want your learning to take and how many days per week are you going to spend learning or how many hours are you willing to put in every day? So that's the duration, frequency and daily time. So let's add this. So uh, actually I'm gonna uh, add to my first prompt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, edit my first prompt. I'm gonna write, uh, for example, I would like, <clears throat> I would like the course to take, uh, for example, three months and I'll be uh, studying four days a week and spend, uh, for example, four hours a day right but uh don't enter yet okay okay keep it that way and also you have to let chat gpt know what's your level right now you don't want to uh to cover topics that you that you have already mastered or miss the ones that you don't know in this case i'm gonna add another things uh i am completely new to pro programming and don't know any programming language yet and if you do have a background but you're not sure where you stand just ask just just ask chat gpt to create a quiz and assign your level based on your response all right so i think we have given gpt all the information it needs so let's press enter i'm gonna press enter Okay, so now you can see it's giving me a better response and a better roadmap. Yeah, that looks nice, but I would appreciate if I could have some learning resources. Let's edit our prompts and ask for resources. So I'm going to actually add, for example, at, in the middle, I want to learn Python for this analysis. Can you give me a roadmap? I'm going to edit, I'm going to add, for example, roadmap with resources. And I'm gonna enter again. Okay, look at it go. This time, uh, ChatGPT gave me a detailed weekly plan 
with the daily tasks and with very some good resources so uh now i've got a solid roadmap to make it even more useful uh i can ask for a specific uh youtube videos if you are looking for some youtube videos you can actually add and ask gpt at the end of your prompt for example include i'm, I'm gonna add my my first prompt with some youtube videos right so it's gonna give you it's gonna suggest you some youtube uh some videos from youtube with the links and if you click uh, on any of these links it's gonna take you to youtube and you can start watching that video so it's it's a perfect way you also you, you can also have both actual resources and youtube and you a video, a video from youtube all right so now we have a uh complete a step-by-step -step roadmap for starting actually learning uh, Python with some very good resources from uh, YouTube and from other resources. So now we can start learning. All right, so my advice, it's better if you start each session with the quiz on the previous material. Well, ChatGPT will correct you where you are wrong and fill in those missed spaces before you proceed. So you'll maintain a solid foundation before uh, moving on. Now, uh, two things I think uh, you need to know at this point. First, ChatGPT might forget what you're doing. Yes, that's happened before, but it's okay. Actually, you can uh, remind it what you're doing right now and just copy paste the title of the lesson you're supposed to learn today or refer to the, the message that it created with the study plan. Talk to it like you are talking to a, a real human being. Who is a little bit forgetful, right? So secondly, don't always trust ChatGPT. Sometimes it makes mistakes, and I think, to be honest, it in my in my experience, that's not really bad because teachers make mistakes too, and it's an uh, important skill to be able to identify mistakes. So one great way to practice your skill is to spot them. And last step is refining your course. So you might feel that the course requires some adjustment as you proceed. Do it, adjust it, give ChatGPT feedback to optimize your learning experience. It takes criticism pretty well, actually, unlike some people. And if it's boring, ask it to be funny. If you don't like the example, specify topics that make sense to you. And if it's too fast, tell it to a slow down or you get the idea. You have the power to personalize and tailor your learning experience. Make it faster, slower, harder, easier as you go. That's something you can do with online courses. So here's a, some extra tips. If you are stuck on a concept, just ask ChatGPT to explain them. For example, explain while loop or uh, LE5 while loop or explain like, I'm a dumb or explain like I'm a child. It's okay. There's no shame. This makes ChatGPT break down complicated concept in simple terms. Another advantage is that unlike many online courses, ChatGPT can tell you why your code is wrong. Also, ChatGPT provides generic beginner level answers, making it great for basic tasks and new concepts. So you can learn Python uh, as if you're learning with the personal uh, instructor. So now if you use the $20 per month Pro version, congrats, you are rich. You can add plugins like uh, Tutori, which will make uh, ChatGPT even better tutor. And also the Pro version works better with the prompts, but you don't need it. Uh, it's just a little bit better. So let me know how you have been using ChatGPT for learning. Uh, or for learning coding language or other areas in your life. I, I'm curious to, uh, to know that's how you are using right now. I hope this video was uh, helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.